January 2016 meeting, the Cincinnati Woodworking Club had the honor of having Chad Stanton from Wood Chop and Time as a guest speaker. Here, we will show you part of his presentation in which he talks about the design of his portable workbench. Um, this is my workbench that I take out on job sites. I found that when I'm out on a house and I got to do some custom built stuff, that it was really uh, uncomfortable sitting on the concrete floor trying to cut things. Yeah. So I wanted a, a portable bench, and this is just made out of some uh, 2x12s. Now this is ergonomically made for uh, my height, and what that means is a workbench should be with your arms straight and your palms up. It should be about one inch less. That's so you can get a board underneath it. The other thing though out on job sites is I deal a lot with plywood and I have to cut the plywood. So it comes apart and becomes two saw horses. Both the same height, in this case 18 inches, and again ergonomically set for me, which would be one inch less than my knee bent. That was back in the day when people were hand sawing and they put the board underneath. If the bench was too tall, it would hurt your hip. If it was too low, it would hurt your back. So again, this bench was made for me. But, well, I can't leave well enough alone. So I decided that the bench wasn't enough. I needed a vice. And uh, being a furniture maker, you'll know real quick professionally, you're going to go poor. So um, I needed a front vice, didn't want to spend a lot of money. So a simple pipe clamp will do the job for me. After I had the front vise, I thought, hey, why not put a tail vise on it? Very clever. Then I realized I could store some tools down here, and I thought, well, hey, I want a drawer. I had a drawer to it. And I forgot to bring it, but I didn't like bending over putting the tools in, so I added a tool well that slides on it. And the tool well, if you flipped it over and put it back on, now it gave you a wider work surface. So it really turned out to be a, a, a functional bench. And, uh, so much so that uh, back before American Woodworker, we did an article on it. And then uh, for this new show, I can do that. We, we did the same bench there, and all those plans are available on the show. Uh, this was another toolbox that kind of evolved. Uh, when I go out on job sites, this is the nicer version. The original one is all beat up. So when I go out on job sites again, I'm always running out to the van to get that one tool I forgot, the channel locks or the hacksaw or whatever I'm working on. And then when it's time to go, i got to clean up. So I literally use this to scoop all the tools and make the mad dash out of there. But I found it was useful for a couple things. Besides my toolbox, I can uh, use it as a step stool. And then these grooves on it, I do a lot of uh, quarter round and shoe mold. And so I can set this right in the middle of the room. And I can make my straight cuts my miter cuts, cope it. I can trim out the whole room without running back out to where the miter saw is. And then the little slot cut here, if I have a, a small piece of wood and I want to drill a, a hole in it, instead of hanging it over the edge, I just place it right over that V-slot and drill right down. Now I have support on both sides. And then uh, Lastly, so you don't think that I do everything with circular saws and jigsaws and that, uh, this was a project I took on for myself. I wanted to make a project completely with hand tools. And so I started off with, well, you can see I got the dovetails, carcass dovetails on it. I have the, uh, like a bridle joint here. For the top, it's a raised panel with a, a miter corners for the styles and rails. I guess it's basically like a cabinet door, but the uh, the miter isn't just glued and nailed. It's a mortise and tenon miter joint. The inside I have the uh, dovetail keys to hold the panel together. 
I have more dovetails with the uh, half blind uh, sliding dovetails, the rabbit and groove here on the back. Um, who built the box with the hidden compartment? All right, I've got one of those too. Oh, I had a little fun. beer money in there. Mine, you know? Mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> then the, uh, the the best thing you'll never see on the box is the base here. Again, it's mitered, but it's a full blind. Uh, there we go. Full blind dovetail. Yeah. Um, the only four I made, and the only four I'll ever make. <laughs> <laughs> So I do like working with hand tools quite a bit. So Chad the, gave a great demonstration to the club with block. tips on how to use various hand tools for common joinery. And, and he answered angle, many questions from club to, members. In the end, there was just one final request. Uh, any questions from anyone on anything? Yeah. Do the dance. <laughs> uh, if you've never seen my, my web show, uh, at the, my odd sense of humor is at the end of every episode I dance. Um, and people ask me why I do, if I don't dance now, people ask me to dance. And people say, well, why do you dance? And, you know, I think everybody deep down inside, when you finish a project, you are proud of it. You're happy. You feel like you accomplished something and, you know, you want to show it in some way. So go ahead and dance. You, know? you guys can send a video of yourself dancing to me and I'll put it in there. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. I'm not letting you off that easy. And uh, according to the emails I get, I'm the only one who finds my jokes funny. <laughs>